What's up guys? Alright, I'm going to do a really quick video on the glute bridge or hip thrust or any kind of, you know, glute bridge, hip thrust, you, you know what I'm talking about. A quick tip that I learned from, um, full credit goes to, you know, Dr. Quinn Hennock and um, the guys at Dark Side Strength. I saw a video on this and it is really good. It's helped me out a lot for my glute bridges or hip thrusts to actually feel it correctly. I'm going to go over it. So, what you do. Okay, so for... Um, like a glute bridge, okay, obviously I don't have a bench here for hip thrust, so I'm just going to show it on the floor, which I think is a good exercise in general too. So, um, one thing for, for glute bridges, okay, you want to lay on your back, obviously, okay, with your feet, you, you want your heel, your big toe, and your little toe on the ground at all times, you want them pointing forward, okay. Next, you always want to take a breath, okay, so... Take a big breath in, take a big breath out, your ribs are down, okay? You take a big breath in through your nose and fill out, push your low back into the ground, kind of tilt your pelvis underneath you, okay? So you're not arched like this, you're keeping this the entire time, and you lift up, right? One thing, this is the cue that helped me out a lot, okay? A lot of people think just pushing your hips up, right? The cue that, that helped me was pushing your knees, trying to get your knees forward towards the wall, trying to push your knees out, okay? So you're trying to lengthen this way out. So instead of just thinking up, you're thinking push your knees out, okay? So you're here and you push out, okay? You should really feel your hamstrings engage and your whole foot stays on the ground the entire time, okay? You're not trying to go to the outside of your of your foot. You're trying to have your big toe, little toe, heel on the ground, and your knee should be going over your second and third toe, okay? So it's straight. If you want to, come to the front. Come to the front and show the angle. Okay, so I'm here. I'm here. Take a breath. Breathe out. Breathe in. If I had a bar crossed here or anything, okay? Slightly, posteriorly tilt my pelvis. And you push out. Okay, obviously nice and flat, squeeze my glutes. I feel my hamstrings are on fire doing this, doing it this way. I'm thinking about pushing my knees that way, not just squeezing my butt up. I'm thinking about pushing my knees that way while I come up. Okay? So give that a shot. It helped me out a lot. Um, don't try to go to the outside of your feet or anything like that. Make sure your knees are going forward over your second and third toe. Don't try to go to the outside of your foot. Think about pushing your knees forward, keep the breath, stay nice and braced, and do this movement if you're doing hip thrusts or glute bridges. It works for either one, and your hamstrings if your glutes engage. And um, you could obviously do it for a single leg as well. Let me show that real quick. So for single leg, if I'm here, I sit up, I just lift the leg up, and I push it forward. Push it forward. Okay, I'm not trying to go to the outside or anything like that. I'm not caving in just forward, okay? So guys, that's it. Help you out, let me know, later.